Hello, it is Fishbowl Geek, and we are back uh, with part two of our evil playthrough. We are going to start our journey um, of becoming a hero. So let's go and get our equipment and then go and see Teresa at the front gate. So, did you get it? Need any assistance? Takes a harmless fellow. Great. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Me how you swing that sword. Someone just tried flirting. I'm not going to sleep with anybody from the gypsy camp. Uh, use that. Use that. Take. 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 And I will keep that as my uh, home for now. I should have put it out to rent straight away. Uh, No, I'll keep it as a home. I could always do with a home base, I suppose. Now come with me. Open the gate. Good luck. Take this. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look down towards the lake. The seal will allow you to that tool. In its darkest depths lies the chamber of fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. I'm sure you'll be a now go. Oh, okay. Just straight up go. Alright, so I'm not going to be collecting any silver keys or gargoyles, um, at least until I've unlocked the ability to get uh, hopefully all of them in a region, which will actually be quite late game for some areas. Um, because I want to do... Uh, like a video walk through the beach area showing where all of the different locations are. That's my theory anyway. Whether or not I stick with that, I'm not sure. Um, for example, I haven't actually activated the first gargoyle one because I don't think you can do it until you can aim at them. And I know there's a silver key over here, but again, we will save that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and make this a bit of a, a bit of a speed run, I suppose. I mean, I have recently just come off the back of um, playing my good playthrough. Um, also, I mean, I've got that good playthrough. The only difference between these two is the two playthroughs is really gonna be I'm not gonna spend quite as much time fannying about because I've already done all that, um, and I will be opening all the demon doors because I'm going to be corrupt. I'm gonna be evil. So that is obviously the other difference. Um, apart from that, it's going to be much the same. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I don't see the point in um, wasting too much time. Don't be alarmed. I'm not going to be exploring. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall. Shockingly, the water at the bottom will always break my fall. Right, there's the dog. Okay. So yeah, so this is uh, just going to be trying to go through more or less as quickly as possible. Green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. 
It's pathetically small at this point. Let's go in here. Oh, good money bag. You'll have to shoot off the bridge to go any further. What treasure we oh right, yes, that treasure. That's not treasure. What are you shouting treasure at then? Are you just being really slow about that, uh, about that chest? I think you were. Right. Like I said, I'm not going to try and, I'm going to try not to spend too much time planning about it. First, oh, oh, can I search that? Yeah, search. And first diary, uh, there's three of them, blah blah blah, treasure. So they're gonna poison and attack each other. What's the usable item I just got? Does it mean the fact that I just got that? Or does it mean the, that? Or any of those possibly. Hard to say. So I don't think you get the um, the actual dive spot coming up until you've uh, searched everyone's corpses. Uh, blah blah blah. Plan to poison their water supplies. Yep. This way, and then <laughs> then I'm throwing the gem into the lake and poisoning myself too, just in case. Excellent. So now, as you can see, now there is a dive spot. Free gem. Is it? Ooh, bewitching augment. That's all right, that actually. And uh, that warning about augments only being once—that's um, that is true in the base game. But if you've got the Not Whole Island DLC, you can get access. I don't think it's straight away, but I think you can get access to uh, augment remover, which lets you obviously chop and change augments at your leisure. It's not until it's not straight away though. So you still have to early game be careful what uh, augments. Afford something. From a distance, always good.
Yep, okay. Boring combat. Running through. Nope, shoot it. There we go. I mean, flit switch is the really fun, interesting mechanic, but a bit too simplistic sometimes. It's not true of the ones where you actually have to be careful of the type. I tend to be a bit uh, less good at those, unfortunately. Um, especially ones that make you switch between magic and shooting. But I still think they're an interesting mechanic, and I do like them, so... Uh, there's stuff in here, and it's always mine. I'm just gonna take literally everything I can, because I can. I'm sure there's a chest back here. And if it's just a chest, I'll be happy. But there's also... Oh, lots of copies of that, I suspect. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Yep, there's the chest. Ah, Amethyst. That'll be worth a few bob. Good for a good weapon. Right, and you're going mental because of that one. And we'll go here. A uh, health potion, always useful. Thank you, dog. Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. Hard to really get a proper impression of it, actually, but it's still kind of awesome. The Heroes Guild is here underneath. For centuries, this academy like... trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. But the heroes are not all gone. You are here. And that same heroic blood flows through you. Look around at these walls. Your forebear, one of the mightiest heroes who ever lived. At a young age, he suffered a devastating loss, from which he never truly recovered. But when the world tried to crush him, he fought back. He grew strong, strong enough to reshape the world as he saw fit. You must do the same. The guild has reacted to you. Step into the light. Learn the true power of heroes. Your blood is awakening. <laughs> you can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the colors gate. I gotta be honest, I was just contemplating with myself, can I go through a whole game without using any magic? The answer to that is no. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill and will. Shock stuns your enemies and blasts them with lightning. I don't want to hear all your differences, I just want to pick one. Um... Chaos confuses your foes, making them unpredictable. They may flee. Force push sends a blast of energy towards your enemies, hurling them into nearby objects. 
it is very effective in confined spaces. Vortex creates a powerful windstorm that will pummel your enemies with nearby debris, or even other enemies. Hmm. Blades creates magical swords to impale your enemies. I like blades. We'll start with that. And I've got that, so... Brutal styles unlock special moves for use in close combat. We'll go X to block. Okay, I can try that. Excellent. Can you feel the power coursing through you? It is only the beginning. Use your will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. Well done. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Use the colors gate. Annoyingly, you cannot do that anymore. And that's been true for a very long time. And for whatever reason, I'm sure I used to have... Uh, I'm sure I, I, when I first got the game, I accessed this. But um, I don't know, maybe it was on a different... I'm sure I've always had the same Xbox account, but maybe I didn't. Frustratingly. So there's no chicken suit in any of my games. Unless I were to go online and get it from somebody else, but I'm not even sure anybody plays this multiplayer online anymore. Um, I think I've opened it up to random before, and I don't think I've ever found anybody. Use your newfound abilities to defeat them. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Make your way I to Bowser. Oh, I did get them. I will meet you there. All right. So that is us. We have um, taken the first steps to become a hero. We've met the uh, well, not met, but we've gone into the uh, hero skill for the first time. Oh, look, there's a dive spot over there that we can see at least one. Uh, I know there's a, I know there's another one, well there's a few actually, dive spots are kind of ubiquitous in this area. Um, let me see, do I want to do short and sweet or, or not? Uh, do you know what, let's, uh, it's only been a short video so, let's carry on to Barrowstone. At least a little bit. Which way is it trying to take me? I'm sure, I have to go this way. Or is this just taking the long way? It's taking a way. Unless that's the no. This is this is the Barrowstone Road. I thought so. Probably could have swam across the lake and been faster, but it's neither here nor there. Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry, like, you can always take care of thag yourself. The more I hear so, it, the more that um, the road to Bowerstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. No doubt they are. Ooh. Now, do I wear that straight away? Yes. I mean, that's the playthrough I'm going for. It's a lot better than that blouse. It's pretty good as well, actually. Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. Well, kind of. Look out! It's an ambush! 
Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you can. Bag, I think. Oh, he's about to hurt the dog. Because he's a monster. No one defies Thag the impatient. I'll gut you myself. I'll give you three seconds to get ready. No, wait, two. Oh, sorry. Nah! Right, your monster, you must die. You hurt my dog. Oh, I can't dodge. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't let that bandit get away. You are now famous <laughs> to use the follow and wait expression. Wow, okay, that was I forgot that that would be ridiculously easy. Well done. I will tell the guards of Thag's death. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen. Oh, dog. We'll be healed. Ah, keeps the key to the cage in his hut. It's in a chest. Oh, yeah, I suppose you do want me to let you out. <laughs> um, I cannot afford that. Thag's cabin. I wouldn't actually mind Thag's cabin as a home. That would be quite cool. Because I always get the same home in the same home in, in the homestead behind the demon I think I'm going to get a different one this time. And that's Thag's diary. Grubby journal. Ah, working for Lucian. Who cares? Lady. And just a case. I think some of Thag's blood spattered on me all the way over here. Don't even think about letting them out. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. Look, I don't want any trouble. Give the key to me and I'll make it worth your while. No, don't listen to him. Shut up. You wouldn't do that yes. to us, would you, Sparrow? Nice doing business with you. I sure would. I still don't have anywhere near enough money, do I? <laughs> a few coins change hands, and a few honest folk are condemned to years of misery. Is your heart so hard? Perhaps you will destroy Lucian for the wrong reason, but I suppose it will have to do. Meet me in Bowerstone Market by the clock tower. There is something you must see. Yep, she didn't like that either, but uh, I'm not sure I care, Teresa. Uh, I think there's a chest around here somewhere. Uh, obviously there's that cave, but... Oh wait, is the chest in the cave? Yes, the chest is in the cave. I'm getting some good treasure early on. I think there's anything else of note, particularly in here. That's not looking likely, is it? No, I can't even get through that way, can I? Seems to think I can go this way. Oh, I can. Alright, let's head to uh let's head to Barrowstone. Is 
course, that just it genuinely didn't take as long as I thought it might. I thought the fight was going to be harder, but... Even without block and flourish and awesome weapons and awesome skills and dodge and roll and everything like that, it's not straightforward enough. There was probably a shorter route. Yep, bunch of jippos. Apparently somebody killed Thag, you're right. Bunch of gypsies and travelling traders, except they weren't any travelling traders, they were just gypsies, I think. Going through to Barrowstone, to the market. The hero of Bower Lake! I'm a bard, see? And that's the song I'm working on. It's, uh, well, it's my first one. I'm just starting out. Listen to this. A hero went to Bower Lake and gave the thug a belly ache. <laughs> that's all I've got so far, but maybe if I walk round Bowerstone with you, I'll get some inspiration. Uh, let's see if I can get him to bugger off. There's love and fear there, that's a bit weird. I don't think I can actually uh, do anything to him. Alright, let's go and meet Teresa. Bower Bridge. Nice and uh, bridgey, don't you think? <laughs> There's usually a few stalls set up if you fancy some shopping. Rat rose up rather sour. Yeah, I'm going for a bit of an epic theme on that one. I have bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. But you'll need money. If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. And here is the town square. The very heart of Bowerstone. This is where I ply my humble trade. Cozy, isn't it? Alright, um, this is obviously the tutorial that wants me to do jobs. I'm not going to do jobs. Well, right. I have been compared to the crime. I'm trying to get away from rolling the back, so I don't think I want to kill him this early. He is annoying me. So. Um, yes, obviously we're going to spend time and wait for Teresa, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, strikes me as a good time to end it. We've become a hero, we've unlocked our first spell, um, we've made it to Barrowstone, we defeated Thag, we sold some poor unfortunate villagers to a slaver. Don't worry, we'll be doing that a whole lot more. Um, so yeah. I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, as much as I've enjoyed playing, and I do hope you guys will join me for next time where we uh, spend some more time being um, evil. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ham it up as much as I can in this one. So, uh, yes, I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta for now.